Matt Levi Investigates is brought to you by the Hawaii Regional Council of Carpenters, Hawaii's Carpenters Union, HGEA, 42,000 strong, working for Hawaii, Hawaiian Electric, serving Hawaii for 125 years, HMSA, caring for our kupuna and Hawaii's families. It's our promise and our privilege. Kamehameha Schools, Hawaii Pacific Health, creating a healthier Hawaii. Locations, welcome home. First Hawaiian Bank, it all starts with yes. She was invincible. She could do anything. She was just our rock. She's slipping away slowly, and there's nothing I can do about it. She, she's coming like the child, and we're coming like the parent, yeah. I think that she's lucky to have children to love her that much, that they would give up their own financial security to care for her. Because family caregivers who do this are the unsung heroes in Hawaii. I don't want to have any regrets. I don't want to say shoulda, coulda, woulda. I, I want to say that, oh, we had a blast to the end, you know, and, and I did everything I could have done for her. Tonight, putting family first, role reversal, children becoming caregivers. They're often unprepared for the responsibility and sacrifices required. Hawaii's elderly population growth is outpacing the rest of the country. As the number of kupuna increase, more and more families are facing the question of how to care for their aging relatives. The donuts are in the fryer the fresh pastries piling up. The sun has yet to rise, but Iris and Lancia Fuso have been up for hours, getting ready for the final week at their family business. Super busy morning. This is normally, for us it would be a Saturday, but because we're closing, it's been Saturday for the last two weeks. <laughs> but it's okay. We're going now with a bang. We're having fun actually doing it. Larry's Bakery opened in 1960, just one year after statehood, long before the mainland big box stores moved in, back when buying local was all there was to buy. Larry and Irene Yafuso set up shop in Waiau. It was hard work, but wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Hard work, building a business from scratch, the couple lived and breathed the bakery, raising their keiki in the kitchen. I learned how to ride my bike. In the bakery? In the bakery. We had all these big wood tables all over, so it was like a little maze. They gave everything to the bakery. You know, a lot of times when I did sports and stuff, you know, they wouldn't be there, but it didn't bother me because I understood. Then one day in 1979, in an instant, everything changed. So back in 1979, my dad, Larry, he had a massive brain aneurysm. And I was only nine years old, so I was in fourth grade. So in one day, I mean, he was just caught a cold on Friday, and Monday he had passed. So basically in one weekend, everything just shut down. But there was little time to mourn. We still had to run this business. My mom still had to run this business. So growing up, my mom, she was my playmate. She was my dad. She was my mom. She was my boss. With mom Irene at the helm and the children, Keith, Lance, and Iris, following her lead, they kept the doors open, the ovens hot, baking their famed cinnamon bread and white chantilly cakes. We were always there because my mom was working. So for years, we never took my mom to like a Mother's Day brunch or anything like that. 
not a lot of days off. No. Not, not any, you know, maybe one or two days off. All year? Pretty much. Not a lot of days off, but plenty of good times. It was very good. We all got along, so it was fun working together. Eventually, Keith moved on, but it was still Lance, Iris, and Mom Irene keeping Larry's legacy alive. In 1999, they relocated to Salt Lake. They were always busy and thankful for the loyalty of their customers. Then two years ago, Iris and Lance started to notice that Mom just wasn't herself. I found she was writing checks to publishers. Clearing house, all the money was gone. Buying all these commemorative coins and, and I don't know where they are. You know, and it's like looking at the checkbook and going, what was this for? You know, and that's when I noticed that and she couldn't give me an explanation. She didn't know, she didn't know. She didn't do that, she said, but it's in her handwriting. She would just disappear. And I'd find her outside. It's like, you know, like, Mom, what you doing? You know, and this is, we talking like four in the morning, you know, being out, out outside of the bakery. And like, that's when I kind of told Iris, you know, some, something's happening. That something was Alzheimer's, a devastating disease that destroys memory, slowly forcing the familiar to fade away. It is deadly and it is alarmingly common. Every 66 seconds in the US, someone develops the disease. In Hawaii, 26,000 seniors live with this form of dementia. That number is expected to skyrocket to 35,000 in less than 10 years. Irene doesn't know she has Alzheimer's, but her children can't escape it. Only now, you know, this kind of times when I have hard days, or a customer did something really nice. I miss her because I can't have a conversation that she can say, oh, you know, that kind of customers, you know, back in the day, we used to talk like that before. So when I think about that, or when she asks me, what, what grandchild is that? Or, you know, who's that? That's my friend. No, mom, that's not your friend. That's your grandchild, yeah? Oh. So what to do with mom? What to do with the bakery? Iris and Lance are forced to make a difficult decision. We'll explore that when we come back. Every week, union members in carpentry and drywall across the state go to work, building the projects and facilities that improve everyone's quality of life. And in support of fair wages and benefits, that will create lifetime opportunities for all of us, now and for generations to come. Let's build a better Hawaii, together. A message from the Hawaii Regional Council of Carpenters, Hawaii's Carpenters Union. If you enjoy having a 40-hour work week, give a union a shaka. If you value safer working conditions, family medical coverage, and paid sick leave, give a union a shaka. If you appreciate retirement benefits and better pay, let's see that shaka. Because it took 80 years of middle class workers standing together to earn the many job benefits we all enjoy today. What can your union do for you? Why don't you ask them? A message brought to you by HGEA. Uh, I'm a second generation lineman. You know, my dad was like a hero to me. Not only did the community look up to him, but he, he served a vital role. You know, now the, the torch is handed off to me. It's our turn to modernize that system. Uh, we're able to not only limit the size of the outage, but it helps us to find the outages quicker and, and respond to them faster. I like to reconnect with that past, you know, the commitment to our customers and to our communities we serve. At 84, Irene still has the magic touch when it comes to frosting the bakery's signature white Chantilly cakes. And that's how it's done? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's done. Her health was always good. Her health is still good. It's just her memory. 
As her memory began to fail, bringing mom to work just wasn't an option. We keep, kept making adjustments, so we kept downsizing the business. So it was basically um, Iris and I. And, um, you know, there were times where Iris would have to care for my mom till 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, but yet still come to work. And, you know, she'd be so run down, it's like, it's not worth it already. Iris was essentially working two jobs, full-time at the bakery, full-time at home with her mother. She and the family decided that mom was simply more important than keeping the bakery open. It was time to close. A customer had told me, what, you gonna close? Ah, just throw your mom in one home. And I'm like, no, you throw your mom in one home. But you know, I, I can honestly say, we did think about that. Our brothers did think about that. And the day that I went there, I saw her face when we went in there. They showed her what room she would have. She would be sharing the room with she, And she said, why do I have to come here? And I said, oh, you know, it's going to be better this way because, you know, whatever, whatever excuses I had. I went home that day and I told my brothers, you want to put her in a home, you do it. I said, I ain't putting her in the home. It is absolutely a tough thing to do, and it is an act of love. AARP Hawaii CEO Barbara Kim Stanton hears from countless families like the Afusos, children with aging parents forced to take on a mountain of unexpected responsibilities. The typical caregiver is a woman who's married, who's at least 55 years old, and uh, almost half of them are in the workforce. Many of them sacrifice their own, their own financial security by leaving the workforce earlier than they had planned to because they have to care for a loved one. There are 154,000 family caregivers in Hawaii. By stepping up and taking the role of care provider, most family members agree to a loss of income, a sacrifice to their time and lifestyle, and even a risk to their own health. Hawaii has the longest life expectancy of any state. The longer those golden years last, the more likely the need for high-cost, long-term care. You can have retirement savings, and the wild card is the cost of long-term care, which is about 141000 a year in a uh, private nursing room. And that is a number that um, staggers most families in Hawaii. The Yafusos all live with Lance, pooling expenses to make ends meet. Lance plans to get a job baking elsewhere, but without the income from Larry's, money will be tight. Still, for Iris, there was no other option. I'm gonna be the mom. That's kind of sad to think about. So many years she was so strong. She still is strong at what she does, but just to see her. Do you think she knows why you're closing? They've chosen not to tell Irene why they're shutting down, but word about the closure is getting around. They decided to close and cruise with their mom, Irene. Ah! <laughs> it was an honor. I have no regrets. And I don't want to have regrets for not taking care of my mom. Yeah, I got to take care of you. That's right. Of course, you always do. Iris has been open with others about her mother's illness, but careful to keep the truth from Irene. Somehow, Irene found out what her children have been saying when she's not around. As she was all mad and hurt that I would say something about her. But she does have Alzheimer's. And it's not a lie. Iris has embraced her new role, taking classes to learn about her mother's medical needs 
and finding common ground with other caregivers, thanks to workshops by groups like AARP Hawaii. I went in there and there was the whole grand ballroom filled with people, all about any kind of caregiving for seniors. And I just started crying thinking, I'm not alone. I see a lot of people going through this too where they don't know what to do. And you need that person to take the lead, somebody in the family to take that lead. In this family, that leader is undoubtedly Iris. How much do you respect your sister for what she's Oh, she's awesome. Awesome. She is like my mom, in fact. She's a rock. Like if she's the next rock. Still ahead, how Iris may be helping her mother not only have a better life, but a longer one, too. Plus, what these kupuna in Waianae can teach us all. Are you ready for a hurricane? At Hawaiian Electric, I teach about preparing for emergencies. And my family follows the same tips. We suggest you put together a home survival kit and have a plan about where to meet. That way, you'll be ready in advance and will help emergency crews by staying off the roads. I report to work during emergencies knowing my family is prepared. Make sure yours is too. Download our handbook for emergency preparedness at hawaiianelectric.com. At the end of the day, it's really about coming home from a hard day at work, safe and sound. In 1987, the Hawaii Carpenters Union negotiated the industry's first mandatory drug abuse policy for the safety of our members. Eight years ago, new testing was introduced for faster results right on the job. At work, play, or home, remember, drug and alcohol safety keeps you, yours, and yours to come the picture of good health. Are you looking forward to retiring, but have questions about your health plan? HMSA can help. Attend a free pre-retirement health care planning seminar. Learn about your health plan options, enrollment deadlines, and more. In Lehue, Pearl City, Honolulu, and Kona. To register, call 1-800-252-4137, toll free. Seating is limited, so register early and bring a friend. Visit hmsa.com advantage for more information. In the final days at the bakery, the Yafusos barely get a break. Everyone wants that last taste of Larry's. Thank you. Yeah. Iris may be in the kitchen, but in her mind, she's already out and about as she plans the days ahead with mom. We never really go to the zoo. We never go to the aquarium, to a brunch, have tea, or do all that kind of stuff that moms and daughters do. And Irene has some ideas of her own. Just spending time together and going wherever. Where are you going to go? Las Vegas. <laughs> it's not Vegas, but they may want to take a trip out to the west side. To the Burger King at Waianae Shopping Center, where every Friday, the Kapuna Kani Kapila. Music gives us energy and it vibrates through it. Uh, everyone else, we, we just, they feed off of us and we feed off of them. It's, it's happy. I think the magic is music. It keeps you going, you know, music keeps me going. The kupuna here, they want to live. There's a lot of life left. I know music keeps me young and happy, so I think it, it has a therapy. The music, music is uh, healthy. He's on to something. This is more than just a good time. It truly is therapy. When seniors get together, it actually lengthens their lives. Even if you want to be alone, there's something about interaction with another person where you're um, communicating, where you're thinking, where you're um, reading the body language that seems to stimulate the body and you find that when the person is engaged their health actually improves. 
Pat Morse and Isabel Estrella started this group 10 years ago. They never miss a Friday morning. We started this playing music and everybody heard. So everybody come with, with instruments. Sometimes we get nine ukuleles playing in here. Strangers forming friendships, playing together in perfect harmony. This kind of community cultivates togetherness. It gives these seniors something to look forward to, a reason to get up a little earlier, get out of the house, and enjoy life. The alternative may be dangerous. Well, a recent study showed that uh, isolation and loneliness is equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. That's how bad it is for you health-wise. That same study found that engaging with others can actually lengthen life by up to seven years. Iris's plan to take her mother on trips to the zoo or out to brunch with friends. It's more than just fun, it's life-saving. Coming up, the end of an era. Saying aloha to Larry's Bakery. If you enjoy having a 40-hour work week, give a union a shaka. If you value safer working conditions, family medical coverage, and paid sick leave, give a union a shaka. If you appreciate retirement benefits and better pay, let's see that shaka. Because it took 80 years of middle-class workers standing together to earn the many job benefits we all enjoy today. What can your union do for you? Why don't you ask them? A message brought to you by HGEA. Are you looking forward to retiring, but have questions about your health plan? HMSA can help. Attend a free pre-retirement health care planning seminar. Learn about your health plan options, enrollment deadlines, and more. In Lihue, Pearl City, Honolulu, and Kona. To register, call 1-800-252-4137, toll free. Seating is limited, so register early and bring a friend. Visit hmsa.com slash advantage for more information. Every week, union members in carpentry and drywall across the state go to work, building the projects and facilities that improve everyone's quality of life, and in support of fair wages and benefits that will create lifetime opportunities for all of us, now and for generations to come. Let's build a better Hawaii, together. A message from the Hawaii Regional Council of Carpenters, Hawaii's Carpenters Union. On the final day at Larry's Bakery, it's a time for thank yous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And more than a few tears. We're so working so hard. Lance and Iris have brought Irene to sit outside and greet the customers one last time. It's a difficult day, but they are confident in their choice. It's the right decision, and to me, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, you know. Um, I just focus on my mom. What will make you happiest with your mom by doing this? Seeing her happy, seeing her having fun, and being able to stay home as long as she can, that would make me happy. Spend enough time with the Yafusos and it's clear, there's a lot of love. Iris and Lance say mm -hmm. such nice things about you, what you taught them, and oh, what, really? that you were a rock. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Very good. Very happy that they feel that way. You've done a good job. I hope so. I look at it as a gift that was given to me that I can handle this and do it. A gift that Iris is sure she can handle, but she knows being a full-time caregiver won't always be easy. You know, one of the things that we tell the family caregivers is ask for help. Barbara Kim Stanton says caregivers like Iris need to make sure 
to also care for themselves. We have 59% of family caregivers who tell us they're emotionally stressed. And then you have about a third of the family caregivers who say they are suffering from health care problems because they are um, just burned out. To keep burnout at bay, Irene goes to adult daycare three times a week, giving her a chance to make friends outside the home. But just as important, giving Iris time to herself. You don't have to knock yourself out. It may be that they would like to go to adult care, uh, an adult care uh, program a couple times a week. Sometimes the person needs a break from the caregiver too. Both Lance and Iris say that while being a caregiver can feel overwhelming, you don't have to do it alone. A lot of people think that they're the only ones going through this, but there's a lot of people going through this. You know, and if you look out there, there's a, a lot of resources. I understand there are some people who don't have siblings, don't have family to help them but there are different services out there that they can help. There are, they just have to ask for help. That's something Iris is still learning to do, something she'll need to remember in the years ahead. Despite all that she's facing, she is thankful for the chance to give back to the woman who devoted so much to her and her brothers. For me to do this for her, I don't think this is enough. She deserves everything. She's just gold. Before closing the doors, the family poses for a final picture. This is love. This is dedication. This is what it means to put family first. Thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Levi. Good night. Matt Levi Investigates is brought to you by the Hawaii Regional Council of Carpenters, Hawaii's Carpenters Union, HGEA, 42,000 strong, working for Hawaii, Hawaiian Electric, serving Hawaii for 125 years, HMSA, caring for our kupuna and Hawaii's families. It's our promise and our privilege. Kamehameha Schools, Hawaii Pacific Health, creating a healthier Hawaii. Locations, welcome home. First Hawaiian Bank, it all starts with yes. For information on caregiving, contact AARP Hawaii, aarp.org slash Hawaii, and the Hawaii Aging and Disability Resource Center, 643-2372.